Sticking with the shulk, and his shulk seems to be quite on the up and up. Oh, we're just hopping anywhere. Yeah, shulk is, shulk is far more fun to watch. Uh, swap. Alright, we'll just swap here. Oh, a very fast start right there from Fusion, too. Oh, yep. yep. Going with the classic shulk technique. Uh, going with the speed right from the get-go, trying to overpower their enemy, sort of throw off their rhythm as fast as they can. Yeah. Death Arcana with the um, with the Politana here, his main from Smash 4 definitely approving of her buffs in this game. Ooh, jump is paying off a little bit right here for Fusion as well. Jump is great for a bunch of short hop yeah. aerials, trying to... Or faking them out with the Tomahawk. Just some great options there. But I love the way they uh, changed up the Monados in this game, so they're stronger but last a bit less long. Yeah. And more like the Hyper Monado works. Yeah, feels a lot better for Shulk. He's right here as well, just all the any damage training he can do. Yeah. His recovery is so much better too, to be able to switch like that. Yeah, we saw from the uh, Death Arcana kind of Frozen match that he did a really great job uh, spacing the side Bs from Palutena. So hopefully we'll see some good spacing there too here yeah, in this episode. Anybody can figure out how to use that to properly pressure their opponent is going to be terrifying to crack. Yeah. It, it's so powerful, too. Ooh, great I'm DI for Fusion right there. There it is. Not yeah, nice catch. Oh. Ooh, okay. Going for an amb ambitious uh, read there Yeah. For Fusion. I was going to say, even if that connected, I don't think the... Ooh, it's just natural to take it. Fusion looking to get his, uh, get in as much as possible, see if he can get something going. Death Arcana looking to space himself out a little, slow it down. Yeah, and no reason he needs to rush in. He's got all the offense from range. He, yeah. He can just let Fusion approach him. And or he can just choose to stall out the uh, arts yeah, absolutely. as well. Because he, he drains through like speed so fast. Yeah, I believe also when he gets hit during shield, it makes it drain faster. Yeah. Like, he already, he already switched the shield and already lost it. Yeah. Quote unquote, the use of the Monado Arts will actually re uh, reduce their time. Interesting. Hmm. So, speed generally is Ooh. the fastest to go because any sort of ground movement is going to reduce that. Nice catch there. on the jump there with the up smash. Great awareness Ooh. to know that he was going to go high. Yeah. Yeah, those players are definitely going for a number of reads. I mean, these players play like all the time in Smash 4, so I'm sure a lot of their habits kind of carry over. Take advantage of it. Looking for a very brave F Smash right there. Well, yeah, we're not personally working too well in uh, Smash Ultimate here. Let's see if Fusion can end the stock before too much percent happens. Yeah, would not be surprised if he fishes for some kind Ooh, of. Ooh, Dry Down there right doesn't there. get the tech. Attacking feels so much harder in this game, too. Yeah. Too I don't know if just the timing is different, or... Oh, it's, it's also interesting that there's... Hole. Hole buffer. Oh. The window's actually much larger. Huh. I mean, it's just kind of hard, though. There's so many moves that, like, have weird properties to them. Because mm -hmm. some characters will just go down and just nair, and then you'll just get bunk, and then... You'll just be, uh, sent to your doom there. I'm gonna see if I can find... Peter here, switch him out. My ears are on fire. Huh. Uh. Going back to game two, two Smashville. One, go. That they're kind of having great awareness there. So no, he was gonna go with a quick approach. The fusion here is trying to play more of a spacing game. Sort of. Uh, especially with that buster, he's trying to Ooh. that up smash. Great frame trap. Hey, he's super, super convincing leader right now for uh, Death Arcana here. Ooh, great uh, hold there for yep. Fusion. Not letting the uh, intimidation of the forward smash get to him. Watching Devon's uh, call tonight has been really, really interesting. It's uh, really opened my eyes to the character. <laughs> But um, I'm not surprised that Fusion went against uh, nice with uh, his um, Shulk instead of Snake, yeah. Because I, I don't know if uh, Snake exactly wins that matchup. 
Well, I'm sure it'd just be hard, just because, like, it would be so easy for her to just to get in with, like, a Nair. Yeah, exactly. Or to space out with uh, Side B. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't She doesn't have to approach or trade with those grenades or anything. But Fusion's doing a commendable job right now with that the shulk just running in and... Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can think. <laughs> yeah, shulk is a great pick for this matchup because he has the range to be able to pressure her, but not put himself in too much danger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, of course, Death Arcana is more looking to put Fusion in situations where he's going to be forcing himself unsafe. Yeah, or surprising him with some of the moves like that explosive... Flame has Ooh, been doing an amazing job all the time with that. Yeah, it just is such a long active hitbox that it's so hard to avoid it. And then she could also combo out of it, but yeah, Fusion is able to combo out of his yeah. own stuff too. Did the Karnak get so many of those scenarios where he'll get one and then he'll get the other, like right mm. after the other? And it's crazy how that connects. Uh, sort of abusing the uh, imbalance that the first one gave. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited that uh, Politena has gotten these buffs too because, you know, um, a lot of people said that, you know, Politena kind of held him back in Smash 4, but it actually paid off because now she's better. Yeah. I would say she's high tier at least. There's a lot of discussion about it, but yeah. uh, certainly with the buffs she's received in this game, Death Arcana went from somebody who's just sort of... Uh, on, on the, the brink of being PR. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. Oh, being able to use jump to get around that. This is uh, a sticky situation because honestly, Shulk is not far from just taking the stock outright. Especially now. You get uh, Smash or something like that. Well, the problem is that he loses his art so fast that you only get like mm -hmm. one or two chances to even like land a hit before it's even gone again. Like, Shield just gone just like that. Yeah, exactly. So it's a tough situation. Ooh, Ooh, that throw. just not oh. great DI. See, and now like, he's already it. lost it, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's a really potent thing about the new uh, art changes. But Ooh. just walks off and smacks him with yeah, get the scoop. Schmack. Schmacks. And like, no, bonk. <laughs> 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 the scoop. Some of that classic edge Yeah, no, for sure. That's, I think in the, this game is so strong. I feel like a lot of people have this mentality that they need to sit there at ledge, wait for that option. But in this game, with, with no options, no defensive options off stage anymore, you can just go out there and, and abuse it. You know, a few characters have it's a really hard time being, like, you have a hard time edge guarding them. Like, for instance, Inkling, because they've just both of those, recover, like, the recovery is just so good. Yeah. And the time frame for when Inkling is vulnerable is really small. Well, the, the offstage game has become a lot more simplified in the rock, paper, scissors. You, yes. You're either choosing the right option uh, or reacting with the right option. Um, I think certainly. that's a boon to um, people that do have experience in Brawl or Melee. Um, and, you know, Death Arcana has a lot of experience in both of those games. So I think it's a, it's a good thing for him. You saw him earlier using that Nair to, to hit Fusion off the stage, and yes. that was just a really smart option from him. And it's uh, one that a lot of Smash 4 players I don't think are quite accustomed to yet. Fusion getting a strong lead here in the beginning. Yeah. Not taking a single hit either. Which is surprising because the stage is uh, really in favor of Politena because of all the platform canceling, but. Fusion's playing a really excellent ground game. They're just opting to stay here on the ground. And I think Shulk has a really good time uh, pressuring a lot of platforms without having to go up and actually do it. Yeah. Um, the thing about the platforms in this game is that they're, they feel more sticky. Yes. They're, they're sort of... They've made it more difficult to drop through. And as a result, characters like Shulk have a good chance to sort of pressure from below. Uh, and sort of make them feel that stickiness to its full effect. Yeah, with the up air and just hoping that you drop through it. And yeah, you have to make sure that you hit twice going down. Now, I'm not sure. Um, I, I think Explosive Flame would be a little bit of a better option there than going for that up smash. Because even though that up smash does catch beneath the ledge, just uh, Shulk's Monado uh, reaches so far forward. Ooh, going for the down smash there, but not able to catch him on the get up. Again, right there, you can see that little bit of stickiness, right? As he can just pressure from below. Even that that fair just like covers like pretty much all the way above the platform. 
Another thing to note is, is just how much awareness Fusion is having of death or punish attempts that you're having. They, yes. There were a few attempts there in a row where uh, he tried to get some up and grab it, and Fusion just happens to spot dodge, either reacting to it, or he just is figuring out the habits that uh, Death or Kana is presenting yeah. when it comes to when he's searching for that grab. I think his mentality has changed completely on the second game. You can see that he has a really commanding lead right now, and um, Death of Kana wasn't able to capitalize even off of that grab, just barely, um, which is just excellent, you know, from Fusion right now. Yep. Certainly while that first game was impressive for Death of Kana, it's looking like Fusion had spent the last two games really studying Ooh, almost carries him off. the oh. options he has. Yeah, and if he had committed there, I'm sure he would have killed him with a... Uh, with upbeat. Might have been too risky. Yeah, you don't want to throw away that stock, and you know, he wants to keep that lead. I mean, he has quite a bit of extra credit here, 57% on Politena, but, you know, Death Arcana is probably going to play it a little slower, wait for Fusion to mess up, and then capitalize on it. Just looking not to edge guard him so much when he's off stage. But that's probably because Fusion was recovering so much higher. Oh, wow. Yeah, on the landing. Yeah, good <coughs> scoop there. Oh, so much damage. He is, yeah, one forward smash away from just being deleted off this side. That was really smart of him to waste that, have uh, Death Arcana waste that jump there on the edge, but wasn't able to come follow up with the up smash. Now it's just a waiting game for when the Smash Heart comes back. Yeah. That's a really interesting thing that I see Death Arcana do. Oh, good catch with that up tilt. Again, this difficulty of getting off that platform. Yeah. He just walked right off and right into up, up tilt. I've got a good rhythm going. But um, I, I was saying, uh, what was I saying? I was saying something about Death Arcana approaches with dares, which is really interesting. Like pressure shield with yeah. dare. Um, and it's, I think it's a good mix-up because I feel like a lot of Politena mains like to spam Nair a lot on shield, and it's really great for crossing up and catching them. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't expect all the hits with the multi-hit, um, and it auto-cancels on the ground. Yep. So um, you can mix it up with something a little bit faster, follow up with the grab or something out of that. Game four here. Uh, what sort of adaptation do you think we're going to see from Death Arcana? What, what do you think he's going to be looking to change in his game plan? I I hope that he slows it down a little bit more um, and controls the match a little bit more. You can see just like using auto reticle there, uh, punishing uh, Fusion for approaching um, unsafely, which it's so hard because Shulk has such a large range. You know, but there you can see he just punished him with a couple of nares. So I hope that he, he slows it down and, you know, I think that this is his pick, right? Going to town. Yes. So. Yeah, probably trying to use uh, the space to give him a little more reaction time, give him a little more uh, understanding of what Fusion is changing in his game plan. Because certainly what Fusion was doing in game one is not what he's doing now. Yeah, exactly. That was a good wait, actually, from uh, Death Arcana. Yeah, I, I think Fusion is just going to play right up in his face here, trying to use the very the tip, the spacing, and just throw out as much aerials as possible. And um, I think the explosive flame is just trying to catch him too far back. Um, I don't think Fusion's actually going to fade away. Well, he is going to fade away into the blast zone, but I don't think he's going to fade away from his uh, like his aerials. So much. No, cer certainly aggressive spacing yeah. on the part of Fusion here. Oh man. Sticky situation, but coming back into it with that fair. Yeah. The low recovery here from Death Arcana is really good. He's just waiting to see what option Fusion's gonna throw out, you know. Because he just likes to sit at the ledge and just charge something. Um, he, he hasn't really been going down very much to challenge Politan offstage. Yeah. I, I, I 
good strategy against somebody who's trying to get in your face a little more is to sort of run away a little and the recovery is certainly a part of that. Uh, sort of this camping style that Desert Kana is now starting to take. Yeah. He's trying to irritate him into making more Mistakes. bad approaches. Yeah. Oh, but dropping the shield. He was doing really well and just slowing down the game, making it his own pacing. But now he has to kind of start over again because Fusion's tacking on a lot of damage. He's catching right back up. Uh, looks like Fusion himself is, is slowing it down a little. He's backing up a little more with the, the spacing. He's more trying to poke into her defenses than uh, overwhelm them. Yeah, um, both players really now kind of taking this that much slower approach. and I think, though, that that will put Palatina in favor because that's, you know, I think in essence what she wants. I think Fusion was having a, it was doing really well when he was rushing down, and, and just tacking on a lot of damage all at once. I don't know if uh, Death Arcana was really prepared for that. Oh, great! Just kind of a fake out there. Oh, <laughs> taking it with dash attack. Oh, but he was still in Smash Art. Ooh, going right back to Smash. No. Getting Delete caught. it off the side. Getting caught for that, <laughs> that rash nair from ledge. Yeah. Rash. Yeah. Wow. Pulling out all the vernacular. <laughs> How are you doing back there, Dimitrov? You look pretty tired. <laughs> I just want to go home. Yeah. I mean, I'm loving these sets here yeah. at, the <laughs> at the University of Utah. Sponsored by Red Bull. Okay, here's what's going to happen. Okay, so we have this match, right? Yep. And then we have losers semis. Yep. And then we have losers finals. And then we have losers and, going to the. And then end. we have. And then we have grand. <laughs> and then we have grand finals where Spencer's gonna throw the first set. And then, and then we're gonna be here for another 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, it's it's a play by play right there. We have our analysts on the desk. <laughs> no, see, Fusion is playing Ooh, Shulk, good but I have the there. visions. All right. Yeah. <laughs> He can see the future. All right, all right, all right, all right Julian. Let's, let's focus here. Wait, good catch by Death Arcana there, uh, uh, realizing that he missed the tech and, and sort of before Fusion could react uh, yeah, and, catch and him get himself something. back in play. Huh? Anything? Yeah. Took him out. Oh, grabbing my paper. <laughs> that was hard for him. Dimitra, nice. how, was, how was California? Did you enjoy the Smash weather over there? Did you play Smash? No, it's not hard to tell when you don't go outside. <laughs> uh, the great thing about this set, there are the moment-to-moment -moment interactions. You can actually see the little adjustments. The, yeah. the tiny things. Uh, just in that last game alone, Death Arcana sort of slowing it down, trying to uh, irritate Fusion a little more. It was so, and so different from that second game. Yeah. Oh. Why does the camera keep switching? There you go. Um, I think you're in studio mode. You don't know how to technology. No, that means. <laughs> Bet. <laughs> but back here in oh. game five. Boy, oh, <laughs> that audio spike. Uh. Um, basically FD, but with extra platforms. Yeah, it's it like, makes. It like, is an interesting. And and it has like column walls. Yes. Yeah, I. It makes recovering better. But then, like, uh, the neutral game is so interesting. Is this one of the stages where you can't actually wall jump on the wall? Now you can wall jump. Cause, like, you can wall jump on this one. Because, like, pack land you can or something like that. Even though the yeah, walls are Nobody just... talks about pack land. <laughs> pack land is an important part of our ecosystem. Regardless. <laughs> Fusion going back with that, that more in-your-face approach. Yeah, and I uh, think it pays some dividends against Death Arcana. Yep. Yeah, after See? the last game where he... He allowed Death Return for that slowdown. <gasps> Approaching oh, this one with okay, this game five, I'm gonna yeah. push you with whatever, everything I got right yeah. now. Yeah, he's learning really, like, you, <laughs> you know, Death Arcana cannot use that same recovery option that he's been using before. Wow, destroying these fairs. This is doing. Fusion's taking, like, pretty good control of um, what Death Arcana is doing. And I'm really interested to see what he can do to try to bring this back. 
So it's that even percent stock behind, and that killed off the top. I think that was in that one like angle where you can't like DI it out so much and you just die. Yeah, it was oh. certainly the back end of the up tilt, which was weird. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Death Arcana managing to get a stock there with the, the up smash. Something that spin favorable for him in this match. Yeah. And as Death Arcana told me, you know, Politana really suffers with out of shield options. And you can, you can see that, you know, the whole thing with Shulk is abusing your shield from, you know, with that spacing, and then just Politanica really can't do anything about it unless she's able to get a little bit of space between the two of them, you know? And it's hard. I think the stage is a little bit smaller, too. I don't know. Don't quote me on that one. You should just sort of poke it on yeah. the stage. Like, you got to come down, do it. Yeah, I know you want to stay there, but hey. Yeah, he's been just pressuring Death Arcana to stay up on that platform. Oh, not catching. It gives you a little bit of invulnerability from the get up. Oh, that was so risky. There, there is roughly a one frame window where get up from ledge is vulnerable. Really? Yes. But goes with the runoff there. Gets him, yeah. Wow, great stuff from Fusion. That was amazing adaptation that we saw there. And, uh, yeah, really. Watching the mind game between the two of them was really.